Florida's governor, Ron DeSantis, loves to pick fights. He will pick fights with anybody who gets in his way. He will attack you. He will go after you. He'll have his little minions go after you. And this week, they decided to pick a fight with a local news station in Jacksonville, Florida, because that news station had the audacity, the gall to fact check a claim made last week by Ron DeSantis, where he lied to the public once again. So here's what happened last Tuesday. You had Florida governor, Ron DeSantis in Osceola, Florida, where he said this about COVID and he was for context, you know, cause I have the partial quote here. He was talking about the military kicking people out that aren't vaccinated because that's the rule you get vaccinated. And he's mad about that. How is that saying, thank you for your service by kicking people out over something that doesn't stop you from getting infected in the first place. And that's, what's so unbelievable about all this stuff. And I think if you look at the data now, people who have had multiple boosters are actually more likely to get infected right now. So before they even began their fact checking, uh, news for Jax, which is the local news station in Jacksonville reached out to DeSantis's administration and said, Hey, um, we're going to fact check this. So if you wouldn't mind, like, could you tell us like where this data is coming from? So we can go ahead and say if it's true or not. So <clears throat> they got a response from <clears throat> Brian Griffin, not from family guy, Brian Griffin, the deputy press secretary for the governor's office sent them a chart. And he said this upon a quick review of my own accord, if you go to the CDC's website, and then he provides a link rates of COVID-19 cases by vaccination status and two plus booster doses in ages 50 plus years filtered for cases. You can see that those who received boosters after being vaccinated had more reported COVID infections than those who didn't get boosters. Here's a screenshot for you. So you see the chart, we got our nice little chart here. We have lots of, lots of lines there and sure there is a line that would suggest that those who have, uh, had boosters are at a higher rate of COVID than people who've just had one vaccination. But see, here's the problem. DeSantis said those who have had boosters, multiple boosters are getting infected at a higher rate. Now, if you look at that chart again, you'll see a big black line. Do you know what that black line is? The one that's way above everything else there. Yeah, you guessed it. That is the unvaccinated rate of COVID here in the state of Florida. So it would seem that DeSantis's claim right off the bat is totally false because the people who are getting COVID at the highest rates, of course, as per usual, are those who are not vaccinated at all. But news for Jax was not satisfied with just saying, Hey, your own chart proves that you're an idiot. They didn't want to go that route. So they spoke to multiple different doctors and medical experts who also looked at the data, not just the graph, but the actual data. And they said, this is wrong. <laughs> and here's why it's wrong folks, because this data is not representative of what's actually happening because this data is only what has been provided by some Walgreens stores. Like it's not even statewide. It's not even all pharmacies or testing facilities. It's just some Walgreens in Florida that have reported this data. <laughs> of course it doesn't include people testing at home. It doesn't include any of that. It's just, again, some Walgreens that have reported. So, you're working with an incomplete data set and news for Jacksonville, of course, tried to put this out there in their, you know, fact check saying, yeah, or DeSantis is lying. He's using incomplete data. He's using incorrect data. Of course, what I would have done would just have been like, Hey, look at the chart. You're wrong. Move on idiot. So after they issued this fact check, of course, <clears throat> you had another person reach out Jeremy Redfern from the Florida department of health. And this is what they said. How is this still rated not true when these data provided by Brian show otherwise? And then of course, Brian Griffin had this to say, um, if this is a gotcha attempt, as it feels from the initial publication of the fact check this morning, we really do need to focus on the people of Florida. So they're mad. 
they're pissed off. You know, DeSantis's office, because Griffin is, you know, deputy press secretary, uh, Redfern over at the Florida Department of Health, they're like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, you're just trying to do a gotcha thing. No, what they're trying to do is say that you people are idiots. You're giving us incomplete data sets, but even your incomplete data sets proves you wrong. But that is the hell in which we live here in the state of Florida. It doesn't matter what the facts say. It doesn't matter what the data says. Nothing in reality matters to the DeSantis administration. And they will fight you tooth and nail if you try to confront them with reality. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.